हेलो एवरीवन मी अमन कुमार एंड वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू वीडियो इन द कोर्स वे टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग हेयर वी विल डिस्कस इनपुट एंड आउटपुट फंक्शंस वी विल सी हाउ टू हाउ टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर्स एंड हाउ टू गिव आउटपुट्स टू द यूजर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द प्रीवियस प्रीवियसली वी सा वन प्रोग्राम इन विच वी वर प्रिंटिंग अ मैसेज टू द यूजर वी वर लाइक वी वर प्रिंटिंग हेलो हाउ आर यू समथिंग लाइक दैट और माई दिस इज माई फर्स्ट सी प्रोग्राम समथिंग लाइक लाइक दैट वी आर प्रिंटिंग अ message to the user now we have to print some integer values from the program so here is the program hash include std.h hash include conio.h void main clear screen print f percent d is a number 4 plus 4 so we will see the program so here is a program which we will discuss now so first of all i will execute the program i will compile the program so there is no error in the program now i will run the program Yeah, so the output is eight is the number. So the output of the program is eight is a number. So, so we see the program starting from the hash include. We have included two header files, std dot h and conio dot h. Int main program will start from the int main. The first statement is print f. What print f statement will do? It it will print a message. But we have written percent d is a number. And in comma after the comma we have written four plus four. So what this percent d means? And four plus four is eight, and we are getting the answer as eight is a number. Four plus four is eight. So, what first of all we will see what is percent d. We call percent d as a format specifier. Percent d is a format specifier used to indicate integer number. But but percent d indicates that there will be some integer number. Integer is a data type used to in, represent non-decimal numbers. So, what the, what this program means? This means that percent d means here some integer number will come percent d means here some integer number will come what will be that integer number is this 4 plus 4 so percent d means here integer number will come and 4 plus 4 will replace this integer number so i hope you understand percent d means it is known as specifier it indicates that here integer number will come and what will be the integer number 4 plus 4 similarly we can uh, modify the program like you can also write the program like this int a equal to 5 int b is equal to 4 and you can also write here a plus b what will be the output of this program percent d means here integer number will come but what will be the value of that integer number a plus b what is the value of a plus b A plus B means five plus four. That is nine. So we will execute the program. So we are getting the output as nine is a number. So if we have to print two values from this, like I have to print values of A and B. So what I can do is value of A is percent D. So we see what I have written here. Int a is equal to five. First, uh, first variable we have created a variable of int type whose value is five. We have created a second variable whose value is four. Print a value of a is percent d and value of b is percent d. So this percent d means here integer number will come and what will be the value of integer number? What is that integer number a? Similarly, this percent d also means here integer number will come and what will be that integer number b? First percent d will be replaced by A second percent d will be replaced by b, so the output will be value of a is five and value of b is four. So we will execute the program. So here is the output. Value of a is five and value of b is four. So percent d is known as format specifier. We are having many format specifiers like. These are the format specifiers. For care, we will be we, we will be using percent c for integer percent d for float percent f. So these are the uh, important format specifiers you need to learn. Percent c for care, percent d for float, uh, percent d for int, percent f for float. So I will discuss some of the modifications in this program. So like you can also write like values. You can also write combination of integer, 
इंट नंबर एंड अ वैल्यू लाइक ए प्लस फोर सो वट बिलीव द आंसर वैल्यू इज नाइन सो दिस विल रिजल्ट इन वैल्यू इज नाइन सो वैल्यू इज नाइन सिमिलरली यू कैन पुट एनी ऑपरेटर लाइक ए माइनस फोर सो द वैल्यू विल बी वैल्यू इज वन आंसर विल बी वैल्यू इज वन दिस इज अ सिंपल थिंग्स वैल्यू इज वन Uh, you can also use the float like float 5.5. So here you here you will be using percentage F and A value is this one. D bar um, okay. execute compile close execute and run. So the value is you are getting the number as 5.5000. You are getting the number till six digits. After the decimal, six digits are there. Five and five zeros. So if you want to uh, get our answer up to two digits, so you have to put like percentage point two F. Now see the answer. See five point five zero. so if you have to, uh, if you want answer till two digits of decimal places you have to write percent 0.2 2 means after decimal there should be two digits you have to write percentage 0.2f this 0.2 means after per digit after decimal two digits should be there so in these programs we see how to output values to the user now we will uh, now we will see how to take input from the user getting input from the user i will write some code over here so i will be running this code first of all execute uh, wait a second to close this execute compile done and i have to run execute run so it is asking any number enter any integer number a cursor is blinking blinking so you have to enter some integer number i have entered 45 so i am getting the answer as for value is 45 the number i have entered here i am getting same number as the output so first we will see the program First of all, we have to include the header files int main. The program will start from the int main. We declare a variable int a. After this, print f. You uh, we gave a message to user enter any integer number. We are getting a message enter any integer number. Till this, this statement is running. Print f enter any integer number. Now we have used some another function scanf. Scanf is used to take input from the user. This scanf function is also lies lies in to stdio dot h as printf also lies in stdio dot h scanf also lies in stdio dot h what this scanf do it will ask it will take input from the user first of all percentage means we have to take integer number we have to enter any integer number and where we have to store that integer number this will tell m percent of a m percent means address of a as we know every variable will have a address uh, we know we are knowing that every variable have a address so where this value will be storing suppose user entered 5 user entered suppose user entered 45 where this 45 will go address of a address of variable a means this 45 value will go in variable a itself we have tried m percent of a it is syntax of this scan a function we have to write this m percent it is necessary to write m percent in print up we need to to write that we can directly write A here, but but here we have to write m percent of a. M percent denotes address of a. This means the complete line means we have to enter an integer number and where this integer number will go at memory address of a. That means in a itself. So we have entered the value of a. Now we will print that value. Value of a is percent a d. Means here we have to print some integer number and what will be the value of that integer number a. So if user entered forty five, he will get answer as value is forty five. Similarly, we will uh, we can enter two numbers also, three numbers also. How we have to enter that? Like we have to do sum of two numbers. Int a and b enter any like enter any two integer numbers. So here you have to write now two percent a d and so we will see we will run the program first of all execute compile no error run 
so we are getting the message enter any two integer numbers first of all i enter 4 3 and next value is 4 and we are getting some as 7 so enter any first of all we created two variables a and b you we give message to the user enter any two integer numbers we are getting this message now we have uh, we have used scanf scan where scanf is used to take input from the users two percent d means we have to enter two integer numbers first percent d means we have to integer number we have to insert and we have to take integer number and where we have to store it at address of a second percentage means we have to input and any integer number where we have to store at address of b means we have entered the values of a and b int c we have created a third vari third variable and value of that is a plus b addition of a plus b goes in c sum is we have we will print the message sub print f sum is we will print the value of c get ch is used to freeze the screen return one we have to return control to operating system so this is the program to get the sum of two numbers and we have to see we have seen how to take input from the user so you have to try one program write a program to get principal rate and time from user and find the simple interest what is the formula of the simple interest simple interest is equal to p into r into t by 100 you have to ask user to enter principal enter rate and enter time and then you have to calculate simple interest it is a simple program you will be able to do it thanks for watching the video this is our facebook page www.facebook.com slash way to white again this is my facebook id please like subscribe and share the video do comment if you have any doubt this is our two books way to c and c plus plus and way to web designing or way to html thanks again for watching the video